and all across campus just because of class. And <coughs> I'm so glad I'm like not late because I don't want to get 20 points. Correct. Let me off. Hawthorne. You may know me as the smartest girl in the world. I'm just kidding. I ain't old. I'm young. I'm vivacious. I'm sexy. Anyways. So, kids, I will teach you today. Now, because I am the most amazing and obviously hottest teacher obviously in the world, um, this AP US history class is going to be fun. I feel so honored to be in your presence, oh gracious one. Silence! I rule your mind. Your mind. Your mind. Your mind, your mind, your mind. I'm pointing mind control on you right now. Hold it. Hold it. I release you. <gasps> what a rush. Besides me being the most important subject in your life, you well, I will teach you the second most, or maybe the thirtieth most important subject in your life. AP US history. Oh my god, I'm so excited, I think I'm gonna pay my pants. The first migrant. We're from Asia. They landed your ancestors. They traveled across this land bridge from a little place like called Siberia to Alaska in order to come to America. And they were also known as the Eskimo. Who wore such clothing? Give me this little. Cover girl, do it. Photo shoot, come on. Before the Americas, we had those Native Americans. The Aztecs and the Mayans. They were both part of Mexico, particularly the Mayans part of the Yucatan Peninsula, and they valued such things as artistic ideas, astronomy, the calendar, hieroglyphics. It's just so amazing. I can't even take it. But they did contain cities of over 20,000 people which is more than the European cities ever had. So all you Europeans coming over and taking over Mexico? I don't think so. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, is it true that we are going to die in 2012? Ha! You fool. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. In 1325, we had these little guys called Aztecs. It used to be a little place I had to call Tenochtitlan. Well, present day Mexico City. They built irrigation systems. They built these big stone temples that people worship, good thing. And they had a population of over 200,000 people. 200,000 people, Europe. Can you take it? Can you take it? Now we're going up north of the Rio Grande, and those people were much simpler lives. They were governed by, anybody know? No, you don't, because I do. They were governed by clan chiefs, yes. And those clan chiefs placed indifferent attitude on material goods. But on the other hand, we have the Hopwell, Culture who lived northeast in oh good old Ohio, cold climate there right now, and um, they actually built trade routes from Louisiana to Wisconsin. They were very into artistic work and decorative material goods. To the southwest lived Hohokan, Mogollan, and Anasazis. And they built very complicated irrigation systems. Okay. Unfortunately, due to the extreme weather conditions of heat and drought their city declined. Near the Mississippi River lived the Mississippian people. They never really have a name. They're just called Mississippian people. Mickey, pay attention. Pay attention, police. So they built a hundred temple mounds, but unfortunately due to overpopulation, their city declined. 